which is not that far from where he lives, just around the M25 motorway. And that just goes to show that those big barrels from Big Wes can all be fit in the same segment. He kind of needed a big visit there. 57. Where's the require? Eight. Scott is still within striking distance if there's a mistake. <laughs> so there's no there. mistake. Double two it? does the job again. It just costs Scott maybe a little too much. 51 and bull. 51 and bull for a 108. Wesley yeah, Plaisier misses a second match dart. There has been nothing even faintly resembling this sort of checkout in this match so far. And we're not going to see it here. And so Plaisier will get more match darts, but he's going to have to burn one to get to a double. He's got to get this single. In these spots, this single nine is not easy. Made it look easy. Last shot. Match dart four is not simple, but it's in. Wesley Plazier is the first person to win on board number two. Martin Schindler changed the other way. His darts always stood up in the board like Rusty's do now, and he wanted to throw like Phil Taylor, and he thought, well, now's the time to do it. Had a spell do it, playing the home tour, throwing like that, and then decided, you know what? That's not for me. Went back to his old style and became a better player. Rusty's not going to take the 170, and Ron Mullenkamp could wrap this up. And you require 108. With that board flexibility, he can go anywhere he wants for this. 17s, 19s, 18s, 20s. Which one do you want, Ron? That'll do. How about double 16 this time to win and to play Josh Payne in round two? That is excellent from Ron Mullenkamp. He lost the first leg, won the next six, and if you don't put him away. Oh, is he going for it? He is going for it. That's a bit like Thierry Henry getting the ball at halfway and said, oh, I'll have a crack. And ultimately, he's made it more difficult. He has lessened his chances of winning this leg by going for that bullseye. Double eight. Double four. Game shot the six and there it is. Double Thibaut four Trico. is found by Thibaut Treacle. Four Thibaut legs Thibaut on the spin. First. Another one against Game the darts. One. Big molded flight there. He's not going for the 60 anymore. He's going to hit the flight to try and nestle it in just like this. Notice how that third one went over the top. That's because he wasn't going for the 60. Well, it was a bit like when he was going for tops earlier on, wasn't he? He, he felt the marker was there. I just need to hit the flights. It's a bigger target, and it'll just slide down the barrel into the target area. That's the thought process behind someone like Dimitri Vandenberg going to the right and using the stem as well as a backboard. But that's a wonderful out from Van Dongen, and he needed something like that to feel like he's back in the match. I'm going to use that word that John Part doesn't like. It should go the distance. What John would rather say is it could. Because if Van Dongen hits double ten, it's going to be six five either way. One hundred. Twenty. Tebo spitting French fury yeah, himself as Van Dongen pins the double ten to take us all the way. He's one hundred and twenty-one to win. What's been a fascinating match. He took out a one-two-four for a twelve darter earlier on in this game. That is what sparked the fight back for Jules Van Dongen. But he's going to have to pretty much repeat the trick. It's still on. Trouble 17. He cannot get it, and Trickhole gets matched up. Really has stuck to his task brilliantly here. He only has one more job to do. Double 18. Double 9. 27. Oh my word. They were edgy. Will he be punished? Great dart. Double 8. Double four. And Jules Van Dongen is also mismatched darts, head in hands. Treacle missed three, Van Dongen's missed two. Treacle will only get maximum two more here. Good single. Can he hit fours? He does what Jules could not. And he wins a very Tibor Treacle encounter by six legs to five. 150. 150 required for Lorby. 
not going to go. But that poor visit from Rafferty means that this is certainly not a gimmick. Bullseye. 74. That was to equalise again for Rafferty. Danny he was Uruguay. clinging on for dear life in this game. 60. But Danny could have distance. 20 for tops. Ignore the scoreboard. It's got no relevance to what's going on. Get that in. has, though, it is 5 3. Danny Lorby Danny is a leg Lorby. away. But he'd love to leave 60. 60. Danny Lorby, 124. But this really could have been a lot easier for the match. He doesn't get a shot at the ball. And that double that has been so good to Nathan Rafferty in this game Nathan has got to be available to be hit right here. He might need two of them. He will need two of them. And he can't get them. Six. Match starts, Danny yeah, Lorby. Double 16 for a 6-3 victory. Straight in, no problem. Jules Van Dongen couldn't do it, but one of the USA's... That isn't really an issue because they have a whole system set up for their police employees where if they are elite level sports Whoa. people they can basically take all the time off they want to go and pursue that i think something like the vast majority of their speed skaters which is quite big over in germany they're all part of the police force so that's not a problem for pascal it would seem i think that's a great system i'll tell you what you wouldn't go shoplifting when it's icy yeah, around Germany, would you? Because they'll be right after you as Kurt Nenches takes double 18 out for a 2-1 lead. He might lose the leg. These are the legs that really you do like. If you can win them. You see your opponent hitting two maximums. You think, well, I can steal this. But the fact that he's not able to gives Ruprecht a second bite of the cherry. But he doesn't find it. Okay, you require and then says he went treble 13 to leave tops. And because he didn't get the treble, he then left himself a problem to try and get to a double. He's going to have to use a dart to get to the double. It's cost him a dart okay. going that route. It did not matter in the end. And ultimately, he now leads 4 1. And that being at the UK Open playing a great Dutch player like Nenches. I'm not even sure this young lad sweats. 12. Might be sweating in a second because this is a match it opportunity for Nentius. It is an opportunity. It's a slim one. Too slim. 43. Pascal, you require four. Double two got a bit of action earlier in one of our previous matches with Tricol and Van Dongen. Yeah, it's it's double one this time. Well, it was actually a game, wasn't it? Yeah, four Thank double you twos in that game. Yeah, they, he will, if he's outside the top 64, he will be allowed to compete in that if he's in his first two years of the tour card. I've changed the rules for that in the last year or so for those. The right thing to do. Yeah. You go and tell Jeff Smith and Matt Campbell that about the North American Championship. Let's not get too political. It's only Friday afternoon. This is a match it? chance. It's a match dart. Good it's a match shot. win for Kurt Nentius. What a great way to finish that was. Yeah, Bessel Nyman, one of the young Dutch players. Beat David Sumner. He's one of the Riley's qualifiers. Nyman. He'll have to play a second round game, but if he can win that, it'd be Mike De Decker for him in round three. I think that could be a really, really good game. I agree. 50. He's really good, Mike. Right, 127. He's really excellent. good. This could be really good. 127. And game. Done the hard way. A little bit of aggression from the South Whalian. He hits over the right side of that treble 20. He's going to cover it with the stem and the flight. If he goes over the top on the left, he's still got plenty of bed to aim. Yeah, so one thing you don't often see from this particular camera angle, you see from which way it's kicking left or right. You can see on the vertical axis, but less so on the horizontal axis. 
And Sedlacek has left himself a one treble combo, but that's a great looking dart for Robert Owen. And he finds the treble to leave tops. And he finds tops again for a 160 finish. Robert Owen goes 4 2 up. His second game of the day, and you mentioned earlier, Dan, that Dennett played exceptionally well. One of the best the averages in six. round one to get to that game with Danny, but he's not needing that high 90 stuff against Van Trope at the minute. In fact, a 79 average is good enough for a three leg advantage. Yeah, the Horrell one's surprising. He started the his largest tour guard holder very well, James Horrell. Been good on the pro tour, but. Despite a 90 average, 3 1 down to the Riley's qualifier, Joe one. Croft. Robbie just got his first leg because he was 3 0 down, so maybe a comeback is on for Hillbilly Hurrell. As for Owen, Get he up. finishes it off in style. A wonderful finish, and he was the better player of the two in that match. Mm. You did see Ron Mullenkamp on this board earlier on. He's currently 2 0 up on Josh Pian. Say 85. Good leg of darts this from Barton's. McLean is right there with him. Look at him go. Could leave 52. In the end, leaves 92. And he's been quite good at getting a couple of darts at double from finishes of that range. But he may not be allowed back to the board. Double top. 76. Even when he misses, it's close. He doesn't seem to have that wild miss in his armory at the minute. Well, that's four. So 88 left. Yeah, and he's got it as Brett. well. What a recovery from Clayton. So playing is Brett to throw first. Game. Take it from me, Brett. They work very, very well. Well, he needed three big trebles to get to a finish. Brett Clayton has delivered. That means Barton's got to go for this. And he does not get another ball finish. That would have taken us to a last leg decider. This is a big ask, but it is possible. It's still on. That was so close. For an effort at 3.23 and 6. But this must go. Double eight for Bartons. He was walking again on dart three, and he might pay the ultimate price. Brett Clayden to knock the Lakeside World Champion out in round two of the UK Open. He'd never won a game at the UK Open before coming here today. And Brett Clayton's won two back to back, including beating the Belgian Bartons. A 6 4 win. He holds off the fight back. And last year, he defended his Groundhog Open title. I think we've got it up our game, you know. I think the Americans have got this one nailed. Oh. 81. I do require 84. Marvellous stuff. It's marvellous stuff from Leonard Gates here. Double 12. Get He's there. Second. This is proper stuff from Leonard Gates. That involves doing some mental arithmetic. Now he can go for the treble. And he can't get it. It's so ironic, isn't it? He gets two in one visit, he gets none in the next. Earlier on, we saw Connor Scott take this with treble 19 first. And that's one of the reasons why Connor went for treble 19. It's a lovely conversion from Reese because he'll get punished eventually, but cannot stop hitting treble 20. I maintain there's definitely a little tweak going on here with the either the equipment or the grip because they're going in flatter. And it looks like a slightly shorter setup as well. He's one of those players who tends to use the add-on weight in the middle of the setup as well, like Steve Hein used to do and still does actually, but it's the bullseye for Gates for 4-2. Get Bingo, right in the middle. That's a wonderful shot. More and more difficult for Reese Griffin there. He's blocking his path to the treble. In the end, he goes into the one segment. He's still on the two data, but Gates has got a chance. Needs a treble. Does not get it. Reese Griffin, 97 points to break the throw. 52. They should have gone 97. This could have been a lot easier, but it's still a two data. Look on the bright side. 78 with two. There's an argument that he should have gone for double 19 for double top. But it's entirely up to Gates now to open the floodgates. He's missed a lot of doubles in this game. 
But he does not miss the double ten, and Leonard Gates, a stupendous scoring display. Someone like Michael Van Gerwen, who has won three Premier League nights in the last four weeks. He's averaging more in players' championships than MVG. And it's a fair assessment. It's the same venues, and Martin's played 11 games to Michael's nine, but he's ahead of him, average-wise, this season, which tells you everything you need to know. Now, is what Amina about to take the lead against said player ball? That's a terrible dart. That's not. He's got little spells this. Lutman started brighter. Watamena took control, and Lutman's now hitting back. But he's not going to take the 130. 94. Big moments, this. Ooh, could happen. On the ball. Oh, very nearly. That would have been so filthy that it needed a pressure washer. Well, Lutman does come back to the board and pins double 18. And there's the shake of the fist as Lutman levels things up. He he's on the 1 4 1 after the max. It's just a question of whether he actually gets a look at what he's leaving now because Lutman masterfully 1 3 9 to leave this and he could use it. Oh, it could have been its full effect, you know, that would have been some climax. Smashes his fist into his hand. That's only just in the 16. Double 10. What a minor pins it. We are going the distance. Great contest. The best game of the afternoon so far. These two visits from here for Martin Lutman to win and put himself in the hat for the fourth round tonight. Could he win it on the ball? He went for it. He shouldn't have gone for it. And now he's thinking, I've just made myself, just made the task a little bit harder. Well, at least he had a small number, which means he's still got options of whatever he wants to leave, but it's double 16 to be in the hat. He's in the hat. What a great game of darts that was. And Jameer Watamina salutes what is a brilliant 11 leg contest. Same color scheme. He's always got that colored shirt on. He's always got the matching flights. Barrels haven't changed a bit. He has a formula that he's comfortable with. And he doesn't want to change it. Nothing to make the wizard feel a little uncomfortable here. The bullseye would level the game. Similar shot for Simon Whitlock, but he gets to stay on the 18 segment. Ooh, can he find another? That leaves the ball. And the wizard pins it. Crucial shot from the Australian. Doesn't take it out in the next visit. Kyvenhoven may well be on the same. I think this is a very encouraging display from Whitlock. There's a lot of really good assured shots coming in here. This will be another one. Double 10 again. Not this time. And he knows that that could be painful. Magnified by this shot from Mike. Mike Kuyvenhoven has leveled up this match. Whitlock purposefully left the 170. He's not going to take it out. He does get one treble, but Kuyvenhoven, the maximum, has given him a little sniff. Well, that was a Lukeman style safe 20 there. No big treble and no big reaction to that as Whitlock tries to take 76 before Kuyvenhoven gets a chance at it. Double 18. Same height, brilliantly done. If you think that's an accident, think again. He likes to a better finish, but it's not that much better, to be honest, Mike Kuyvenhoven. It's still Whitlock's. He could win it right now. He needed the treble 20 for a go at the bullseye, but he pins the bullseye last dart to leave tops for the match. If this goes, this will be excruciating. No good first start meaning Whitlock gets one visit to finish this off. Three clean darts at tops to be in the wizard hat. Mike Ivanhoe did so well to battle back into this game, but he's faltered right at the end. And the wizard wants double ten and cannot find it, but Kuyvenhoven's nightmare visit in the previous turn 
means he's still got a huge mountain to climb. If we'd said 130 for the match, very doable. 131 is just one more point, but it's so much harder. 51 tops, tops. There you go. After one miss on a 130 in a single, you can still take it, but with 131, you can't. Whitlock has missed doubles in this match, 16 of them in total. But he doesn't miss again, and the Wizard wins it in a last leg decider. Simon Whitlock, the two time quarter finalist, is through to round four. But Nyman was right up there with him. And Nyman against Littler as well, beat him more often than not. Oh, John. Well, had he been sitting on Van Veen's score, he would have had a shot at double. January 64. It's a bad miss, that, isn't it? He's gone for the fat part of the 16 and not even hit it. That's where John Henderson's dart should have been. Yeah, and Van Veen makes him pay. 64, check out. One dart at double is all he needs. It's 2-0 and the break of throw. Two tops. Can't find him, and Van Veen's going to look at the 120 again. 79. Oh, that was a good expression January from Hendo. As if someone gave him an extra strength pull moment. Is it two balls again? No, he did try and barrel his way through. 88. John, you require 20. Word of the wise, Mr. Van Veen. Don't leave 120. It just doesn't seem to work for you. Will this work for Hendo? This is for a break of throw. They can start the match. And it's in from the world senior champ. 74 for 4-2 then. Nothing in his way for tops. 54. Now this chance could have been a lot simpler. Only 32 scored with his last three. He needs to score 70 more with a double at the end to get 3 3. Well, that, that dart there for travel 14 is probably as bad as the previous visit. 82. Yeah, yeah, some real 20. messy stuff there from Hendo. And Van Veen yeah, finds back. double 10 Shea to break back immediately. And just when John Shea Henderson Shea seemed to be getting back into yeah. the match and Van Veen was fading. Hendo has had a couple of poor visits back to back. Bullseye was the call there. 25 would have left 96. But that's 30, which leaves 31. Now, this 15 is not easy. That's a brilliant dart. Got past his own flight for a match shot at double eight. 45. Two legs running now. Jan Van Veen has missed a dart to win the match. Henderson to keep himself in the tournament. We can still do this. Travel 20 for double 18. He gets the travel. But clicks the wire of the double 18, and that is probably that. And that is that as Skian Van Veen goes through to the hat. A little bit harder, and you've got to grind a little deeper as well to get what Andrew Gilding got last year and what other people have got as well. 429, come here to go 150. Mm, stay there, surely. I think it was the right shot. He's a little bit unfortunate. He couldn't find another one in the treble 20. Well, on the bright side, he'd rather get treble four in that spot instead of single four. However, you'd prefer tops on a one, two, five. Somebody's starting to warm up. He wasn't playing this well at the start of his previous game on this stage earlier. Well, this would be something. Cami. Oh my, that was some effort. For a 3 1 6 and 6. Five consecutive treble 20s, couldn't find the double eight, and Tebow's to shut the door in his face. Single 16. Leaves double top. 20 ball. Oh, it's close. But Menzies is given another crack. Double two. Come on. Frenzy, frenzy, frenzy. One thing I really like about this action that Cameron's always had. It's compact, it's very repetitive. He doesn't tend to fling any darts away in anger. 
Everything is thrown with purpose. Oh, what do you want? Carry your Great ball. rhythm. 56. One prod back and through every single time. And another chance at a 1 3 6. Get and this one he takes. Now 62 left. 12 and ball. He's considering it. He's not going it. He's treble 10. And that leaves double 16. 32. Match dart Even missed for Cameron Menzies. Might have a rabbit's foot in his pocket. Needs a rabbit out of the hat right now for this 1 4 2. I don't see no rabbit. Nice. For his first Dirty. victory over the Frenchman and for a spot in round four. Cameron Menzies gets it done with one of the best displays we've seen here on stage two this afternoon.